This entirely peaceful protest was broken up with a volley of tear gas. And with some of the most aggressive policing I have yet seen here. The reason for such action was not immediately apparent, for the curfew was still an hour away. Anyone on the road was beaten back. And we watched as the streets around the White House were cleared. And then we understood why this had happened. The president wanted to be seen visiting this local church at the epicenter of the unrest. So the rally was dispersed by troops and police. Where's he going? And Donald Trump walked out of the White House. And in the single most bizarre appearance of his presidency, he stood outside the church holding a Bible. The boarded up windows behind him, sirens audible as the unrest continued around the corner. Hey, my... What are your thoughts right now? White House. Hundreds of troops have now been deployed on Washington's streets. Indeed, they were filmed entering the White House compound. Trump is now reframing his presidency in a way that will outrage many. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. But in recent days, our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, these are not acts of peaceful protest. These are acts of domestic terror. Then he made a threat that may not even be constitutional. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. Outside the White House gates, those protesters the president was labeling as anarchists were in fact pleading for the police to stop their baton charges. We watched as Simona implored officers to respect her rights. You know what it feels like? We have every right to be here. We have every right to live. We have every right to peacefully protest. You cannot take our voices from us. You will not take our brothers from us any longer. You will hear our cry. You will hear our mothers cry. To the day you die, you will hear our mothers cry. And next to her, Salem, 19 years old, warned that patience was running out. Black Lives Matter! They wanted a revolution. They wanted a revolution. Just you wait. Just you wait, America. You think the days of peaceful protest are close to an end? This is peaceful. This is peaceful, and yet they still don't care. Peaceful protest or violent protest, they don't care. Perhaps the most shocking sight we confronted was the deployment of troops. Well, this type of militarized policing is clearly an escalation. There's no attempt here to build a bridge to the African-American community. This is seen by the protesters as a direct insult. There seems almost no chance now that these protests will be quickly extinguished. And America appears today to be heading down a dark and dangerous road. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington.